Right then, here we go. Fan reaction. It's first one of the season. Luton Town 1, Burnley 4. Well, it's a strange feeling this. We won a game. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're back. We're back. Um, really, really enjoyed watching that game today. Um, first off, I think a lot's been said about Scott Parker. Um, a lot's been said, obviously, you know, about his style of play, um, the tactics, who was going to be in the team. Um, I think a few eyebrows were raised at the start of the match, obviously, with Traffing Goal. Um, you know, no Sander Berg. Um, big wow on the bench. Um, yeah, I think, I think tonight's shown that he's learned a lot of lessons as Scott Parker, um, in his time, you know, time out of football. Um, and I think it showed, I think we've got a manager who, yeah, we did play a lot of passes. We did have a bit of possession. Um, we did try and play a bit of that possession football, but we also knew when to knock it long, you know, when to be a bit more direct. And I think that's that's what's got us that result. Um, I think it was very, very telling when we conceded the goal um, that the heads didn't drop, you know, and we kept going and got another two goals, um, you know, to make it, quite an emphatic win at, you know, Kenilworth Road's not an easy place to go to. Um, obviously, we saw that under company. Um, you know, we, we won two on la there last year and the year before was only 1-0 thanks to a penalty. So, yeah, um, really pleased with that result. I think, like I say, I think Parker got it spot on uh, with his tactics today. Um and the subs as well, you know, I think obviously Luca went down with what looked like a little bit of a knock, might have been cramp, not too sure. Um, but, you know, he, he took him off and brought Anas on and I think Anas played really well. Um, I think he was clever bringing in uh, Luke McNally towards the end. Obviously, Masengo and, you know, Big Wout. What can I say? I never thought I'd see him in a Burnley shirt again. I never wanted to see him in a Burnley shirt again. But this season's all about clean slates and a fresh start for everyone. And that goes for Wigglest as well. Um, he might not be a Burnley player come the end of the transfer window. You know, he, he, he might still get that move that it looked like he wanted. But as long as he's pulling on that shirt, he, I will back him. 100%. Same goes for any of the players who pull on the shirt. I will back them. Um, so, yeah, in terms of the actual match, well, the goals, really. Um, I thought, obviously, Brownhill's goal, absolutely fantastic. You know, great, great ball from Perez. I think he's going to be something else. Um, he's He looked like he wasn't quite on it all the way through the match. Um, I think that could be said for everyone, though. Um, the first half, especially, I'd say the first 20, 25 minutes, we were on top. Um, obviously, we were 1-0 up after Josh Brownhill's early goal. Um, but, yeah, that, I think that you can see that they were still missing a little bit of that match sharpness. Um I think, you know, there were quite a few heavy touches, um, a little bit of disorganisation at times, but, you know, we managed to defend it well, um, you know, as Luton got back into the game a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, 2-0 up at half-time. Obviously, carbon copy for for Wilson's goal as Brownhill's goal. Um, I mean, that man's got pace, hasn't he? He's got pace to burn. Um but yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then how happy I was for Dara. I thought Dara played exceptional. Um, you know, he, he got a lot of criticism towards the start of last year. I think he came on leaps and bounds towards the end of last season. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased for him to get his goal tonight. And obviously Perez with another assist. Um, and then, yeah, 
Vitinho's goal, again, really happy for him. I thought he played really well. He looked like a different person tonight. Um, and it's not just the hair. He genuinely looked like a different person. You know, he, he tried to do some of his little skills. Um, he looked a little bit like Ronaldinho, actually, um, in my opinion. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. Um, I thought Foster, obviously, you know, summed up, summed everything up for Vitinho's goal. Um, all we asked for last year was passion, effort, sweat on the shirt. That's all we all we ever asked for is that you put everything in, and for Foster to be back defending, you know, trying to win the ball inside his own box, to then run it down the other end of the field, and get an assist for Vitinho's goal was absolutely brilliant. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just so happy with how tonight's gone. It could have been a really, really tough game. Um, we know Luton are a good side. We know that they are probably going to be up there come the end of the season. Um, and I think tonight we've sort of shut up a lot of the people who were disregarding us. Um, it's been a bit of an eye-opener for everyone. Um, but yeah, just majorly happy with tonight's result. Absolutely brilliant. It's weird having this feeling again after last season. Um you know, every player ran the heart out. Um, I can't single out a single player who didn't put the effort in. Um, you know, Trafford looks a lot more comfortable. Roberts was running. You know, I've I've had my fair share of thoughts on Conor.